we have recently published a report looking at why industry costs in the UK have been growing so steadily and systematically over the last 20 years. The answer is decarbonisation because of tackling climate change and also ensuring security of supply. A related question is decarbonisation is leading to lots of renewable generation being built. You would think the more renewable generation being built, the lower the power price should go because the more capacity there is. Yes, the UK, we hear about it all the time, the UK is a global leader in renewable generation. We know that the UK is the second largest offshore wind generating fleet in the world. We've got a lot of solar as well, plus onshore wind. Why are we not seeing a significant benefit from this? Exactly. The single biggest factor in the UK, in setting the UK power price, is the net price of natural gas. And natural gas is a commodity that is traded on the global markets and we have to pay, the UK as a country has to pay the global price in order to receive sufficient gas. And so UK power generation is typically priced off the price of gas. So there is a merit order concept where you order all of the different generation from the cheapest to run the marginal price through to the most expensive and you have your nuclear and your wind and your solar at the cheap end and then you've got your natural gas which is a lot more expensive and you're saying that at all times the natural gas needs to run. That is essentially exactly the case. So in the UK, natural gas, gas is the marginal fuel, which means that once everything is running, like you've just explained, once everything is running and we need a little bit more electricity for businesses or homes, then it's going to be a gas fired turbine that will switch on. And the UK has a unified power market, which means that the price of all the elements based on the merit order is priced off the most expensive unit, which is the gas price, typically the gas price. Now it isn't running all the time, but it is running most of the time and therefore it is setting the price. So going back to my A-level economics, when you have marginal supply and demand, the equilibrium price will be set by the highest supplier that is still able to meet demand. Indeed, that is absolutely the case. So the renewables, they may be providing a huge amount of the total amount of UK power and very often they can be providing 50% or more than that of the UK power. However, everybody is receiving the same price. And as we say, that last little bit of gas, whether it's 15, 20 or 30% of the total demand is what is setting the price. But you did say that we are seeing the odd peak, sorry, the odd, yeah, peak in two, troughs of lower prices at uh, those occasions that those rare glimpses of not needing any gas on the system at all. Absolutely, we are seeing that. We're seeing that on a more and more regular basis and it has actually become a phenomenon throughout this year, more so than any other year. We're in, in fact, we're seeing on the system level, so the actual price paid by the very end price paid for power, we're often seeing this as negative, which seems unbelievable, but it has to be that way in order to balance the system. There is too much power being generated by all these renewable sources. Thanks so much.